Hello there, this is Yenic from Minecraft Addicts, and today we're going to be doing the first of our tours of great builds on the server. And we're going to kick off with Lima Man's House on a Hill. Uh, this was built um, quite a few months back, actually, in the historic world of the server. Uh, basically, it's just sort of a standard house on top of um, a completely custom-made hill, uh, designed and built all by Lima Man himself. This uh, structure you see over here actually was added quite a few months after he'd completed the build, and it's uh, basically a memorial to miners who lost their lives in Swansea uh, late last year in the UK. Now if we take a walk around here, you'll see the surroundings. Very nice land that he's chosen over here. Uh, you can see he's got a diverse range of biomes, he's got some ice in there, a bit of desert. Now um, this is the main entrance path which uh, leads up and around the hill. As you can see, he's uh, got it all fenced off and has really uh, thought this through to guide you sort of all the way around spiralling upwards on the hill and it's um, it's a very well made design. If we take a walk around here, as you can see he's uh, planted these trees, this has all been terraformed by him, uh, he had no help from anyone else, there was no, um, no terrain generation here, it was basically a completely flat area of land that he built up from scratch. Uh, another key thing I should mention is that on this server we don't use item spawning fly mods of any kind in this particular world, so it really gives an added sort of element of legitimacy to this build and I think makes it all the more impressive. Now, as we make our way further up and around, you really get a sense of the diverse materials that he's used in this build. You've got smooth stone, sandstone, you've got the clay as well, and what I always find is I'm always sort of blown away by how well he's blended these all together into sort of a seamless design where each material spirals into it, into another. Uh, you can see he's planted mushrooms around the edge to... it's just a nice little touch. Uh, you can have a walk around the edge, as you can see, very nice view from up here as we head further up. Uh, again, like I said, no item spawning, so even things like the smooth stone that he's got here, that will all have had to have been obtained the standard way uh, cooking cobble. And um, yeah, you can see a lot of time has gone into this. Got a pig spawned up here, just jump around him, and we'll continue on our way up. Uh, the glowstone lighting is a nice touch as well, and all of this really leads to this sort of main part of the structure, which is that he's got a completely hollow interior with a really, really nice set of um, sculptures in here. You've got the stalactites on the top that he's custom added, and um, you can see he's got sort of a sculpture down there made of wool. That's of a dragon, I believe, and it's all been it's all been really well thought out, planned out. Um, in fact, he's in the process of another build at the moment, which is the city of Dalaran from World of Warcraft, and he's got a thread on the fo on our forums actually detailing his construction of that and you really get a sense of how much detail he puts into his planning. He drew out a lot of the structure on graph paper beforehand, and you can really see that in this build, that he's probably taken the same course of action when planning it. Uh, as you can see, you've got an alternative entrance here, which is the sort of dock entrance. Looks like it's frozen over a bit since he built it, but that's a nice touch as well, just having that extra entrance around the back. And uh, we'll now jump seamlessly uh, back up to the top of the build and continue by taking a look at the house itself. Okay, we'll just head back up to the top of the hill that we've got here. Uh, if we take a look over the edge, you can see how um, tall this project is. It's uh, almost at the height limit of Minecraft. Now as we head up the rest of these stairs, you can see the uh, extent of the lighting now that it's dark, and you can just see the house over there in the distance. Uh, as you can see, he's even added in a little waterfall for himself over here over the edge. That's a very nice touch, I feel. Uh, now if we head around to the front of the house, we can take a little look inside. If we have a look at the completion date there, you can see this was done quite a while ago. Uh, if we head into his little uh, chest room here, you can see the bricks have been added as a fireplace, a very nice uh, addition and a great choice of materials, I feel. Now as we head back into the main room, you can see he's added his wool for the carpet in here. And if you head down here, you can see he's got a viewing platform which allows you to see the full glory of the dragon sculpture that he's got inside there. And if we head back up into the main room, you can see he's used uh, sandstone and dark wood for the materials of this house. Um, very nice contrast there, and 
always a great choice for materials there. Now if we head around, we'll get a sort of 360 degree panorama view. Uh, as, you, as you saw back there, there were some uh, flower boxes added with uh, dirt and signs and a few plants on the top. They are a really nice touch, I think, and really adds an extra level of um, depth to this project and really shows Limo's attention to detail here. And as we complete the full 360 degree view, I think that brings the tour of this build pretty much to a close. Uh, so, huge thanks to Limo for letting us take a look around here. Also, big thanks to Shed21 for doing the filming itself. Uh, if you'd like to check any of these builds out, be sure to join us on servo.minecraftedx.com or take a look at our website, which is www.minecraftedx.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully you look forward to some more videos from us in the future.